Today, we continue to discuss the parcel of Chapter 15, Direct Current Circuits. So the first topic is about the internal resistance, which you already learned in SPM. Basic formula is E equal to V plus IR, okay, where the V is the, resist the voltage across the resistance, also equal to IR. And another IR here, okay, the R is referred to the internal resistance of the EMM source, such as the battery. So let's look at the question in 2022 Ulangan Pepo. Battery has an EMF of 2 volt and internal resistance of 0 0.5 ohm. Terminal of the battery are connected to a lot of 5 ohm. What is the power dissipated by the internal resistance of the battery? So the power is equal to I square R. Okay, you can use this formula or other formula as well. Okay, depends on you. So here we need to find out the current where the current would be the E divided by the total resistance. Okay. Okay, so we have 12 volt divided by the 0 0.5 ohm plus 5 ohm. Okay, so that would be the current in the circuit. Okay, so I square multiply the resistance of the internal resistance. Okay, so answer would be 2.3 at what? Answer is B. So we move on to the next topic, which is about the Kirchhoff flow. So we have two things. First is the current law, where it is consistent with the principle of the conservation of charge. And the second thing is the voltage law that is consistent with the principle of the energy conservation. And then you also learn how to use the culture flow to do the analysis on electric circuit. So I have made a video to discuss about it specifically, okay, about the culture flow, how we can build the equations. So you can review back the video to do more revision if you still need to do so. Okay, so we look at the question first. So the first is from the 2022 question seven. Okay, what is the basic principle of the voltage Kirchhoff voltage loop rule? So there will be answer A, conservation of energy, as what we discussed just now. And then the next question is from 2022 Ulangan Pepo. Then uh, we're going to find out the value of I2 over I1. So you can do it on your own, and I provide you a few steps here. So this is the first one uh, where we have the Kirchhoff current law and two Kirchhoff voltage law. And then slowly you would have these intermediate steps and the value for the I1 and I2 is here. Final answer should be equal to 0 0.86. Okay, answer is B. So you still have question about this culture flow, you may leave it in the comment section below. Let's see what is the problem you are facing if you still need some discussion. So we shall move on to the next topic, which is the potential divider. Okay, so potential divider is where we can calculate the voltage directly based on the resistance. And also don't, not to forget about the shunt and the multiplier where we can build an ammeter and the watt meter about it. Okay, so there's no passive question here. So I need to do more revision about it on your own. So let's look at the question here. So from first is from the 2022, we have two resistor of resistance 500 and 250 ohm. They respectively are connected in series to a battery of add watt with negligible internal resistance. So if you have a watt meter of resistance 750 ohm is used to measure the potential difference across the resistor of 500 ohm. Okay, what is the reading of the watt meter? So always remember that the watt meter should be connected in parallel okay, if you want to do the measurement. Okay, so the, here we met, uh, it is mentioned that the watt meter has a resistor of 750 ohm. Okay, so here we will see there is a new effective resistance. Okay, so this is not desirable okay, in the experiment. So let us see how we can do the calculations. So the reading of the voltmeter will be affected by the resistance itself. Okay, so if you do the calculation based on 250 ohm and 500 ohm, that would be wrong. So the first step that you need to do is to find out the equivalent resistance of 500 and 750 ohm. So from here, you can see that the resistance here, effective resistance will become 300 ohm, okay, which is far more different compared to 500 ohm. Okay, and then uh, we can apply the formula of potential divider where we treat this as a 300 ohm, okay, so because this is the effective resistance, 300 over the total resistance multiply the EMF at watt, so the voltage here is 4.36 watt, answer is B. So to discuss this further, okay, so this is the measured value which is uh, wrong, okay, uh, we will say this is wrong because it is affected by the resistance of the volt meter. So if you refer back to what you learned in multiplier, okay, where the resistance of the voltmeter should be as large as possible. Okay, so that is why we need to have higher resistance of the voltmeter so that we can have a negligible effect from the voltmeter. Okay, so there is a high, another higher level to explain about the effect of the resistance of the voltmeter or the ammeter. 
So I guess you can do more revision about it if you're still not sure what is happening here. So let's move on to the next question. So question from 2022, Langa So battery of EMF 3 volt is connected to four resistors as shown in the diagram. Rest, internal resistor of the battery is negligible. What is the reading of the voltmeter? Okay, so we need to measure the potential difference across P and Q. So we can just apply the formula of the potential divider. So we should also set the voltage reference. Okay, so usually I will set here, okay, the, the, the negative terminal here as zero volt and here would be the three volt. Okay, so that is the potential difference provided by the battery. And then we should apply the potential divider. So we just tag this resistance, five ohm, over the total resistance across these two points. Five over 15 multiply three, you would get one volt at the point P. As for point Q, 10 over, 10 plus 10, so you have 1.5 volt. So take a few moments to think about it. So we can see the potential difference at Q is higher than P. Okay, so the positive terminal of the voltmeter should be connected to point Q. And the negative should be to point P. Okay, so I remember there's a one passive question this uh, asked about it. So make sure you understand. If not, you need to do more revision again. Okay, so the potential difference will be VQP, where we have 1.5 minus 1. So this means by potential difference. Okay, the difference between the, the voltage at P and Q. So that will be equal to 0 0.5 volt. Answer is A. So we move on to the next question in 2023. We have six identical resistors, 5 ohm, connected to a cell EMF 2 volt with negligible internal resistance. What is the potential difference between point X and Y? So there could be a lot of other methods can be used, but let me try to use just the potential divider. Okay, so first of all, we need to find out the effective resistance be between point X and Z. Okay, I will set this point as Z. Okay, so the effective resistance here, okay, we just do the parallel between the 15 ohm and the 10 ohm. Okay, the 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15, and here, bottom here is 10. So parallel between 15 and 10, so you know how to calculate it. It is a 6 ohm. And then now we can apply the potential divider. Okay, so first we get the potential divider between point X and Z. Okay, so treat this as single resistor, 6 ohm. Okay, then uh, we can do potential divider between 5 and 6. You will get 12 over 11 volt. And then now we know that the voltage across X and Z is 12 over 11. Now we do the potential divider for these two, 10 ohm. Okay, 5 plus 5 is 10 across 15 ohm. Okay, so we do the potential divider again. And you can get the answer is 0 0.73 volt. Answer is A. Okay, so just take some time to understand about the potential divider because it is a very useful formula that we can get the potential difference directly. And then we'll move on to the last topic, which is the potential meter and the wisdom bridge. So the common things between these two applications is that we want to have the galvanometer. Okay, the galvanometer is the G here to show the zero reading. So like for the potential meter, when we have zero reading down, we can determine the length as the balance length. Okay, so the balance length is only taken when the G is zero. So what happens is when the G is zero, means that there is no current flow between the point S and the D here. So the voltage across C and D will equal to the voltage across A and S, where we can use this formula to obtain the voltage. So there are a few applications in the syllabus. Make sure you still remember how to do the analysis. And as for the wisdom bridge, we are going to play with the ratio of the resistance. When the G shows the zero reading, it means that there is no current flow between A and B. So they are like in a parallel circuit, okay, where the P and Q is parallel to R and S. And then we have the ratio of R to S is equal to P to Q. So this thing is useful if you want to determine an unknown resistor using this wisdom bridge. So let's see the question in 2023. A resistive wire P of length 50 is connected in a wisdom bridge as shown in the circuit diagram below. Cross-sectional area of P is this, galvanometer, if the galvanometer shows zero reading. Okay, so this is important. Okay, we need to have a zero reading to use the wisdom bridge. So what is the resistivity of P? So this is why I said that it is useful to obtain an unknown resistance or unknown resistivity. So first of all, we're going to apply the ratio formula, okay, the ratio of the resistance P to 10 is equal to 10 to 20. Okay, so this is only correct when the galvanometer shows zero reading. So from here, we obtain the P is, has a 5 ohm resistance, and we need to determine the resistivity. So apply the formula of the resistance is equal to R rho L of A. 
So apply all the values and you can obtain the resistivity is equal to 1 times 10 to 1 negative 7 ohm meter. Answer is 8. So that's all for the partial discussion. So don't forget to revise about the Sean multiplier curvature flow as it is not included in this video. Thank you.